Uh, I have clicked the record button and I say, yo, what up? This deck is very cool. You know, you know I love me a good old-fashioned woman, you know? Love me a okay. woman. So, you did a deck talk on woman, I think a month ago now. Like, mm -hmm. last month or two months ago. Mm -hmm. And you said, Stormer Blades would go great in this, in woman. I went, wait a minute. And here we are. Love it. That's just the whole pitch. Storm of Blades was cool. You said it one time, Tam. It must be fact. It must be true. Um, and it so, also gets Sniping Spire on Void. It, it was like... Cool, I'll throw it six mid for... It's like 100, right? Because it gets... At minimum nine? Yeah, four from Storm of Blades, right? Yep. And then another four from... Just remove the Storm of Blades? Yep. That you just, like, did? Okay. Red. So what do you need my help with? Uh, Besides deck, making this not side, 82. <laughs> really and truly not making it 82. And if you find any more, like, funny tech cards or, like, funny attacks that are like, ooh, this might actually be better than what I'm running. Uh, how do we feel about Godzilla cards? Yes or no? Sure. Okay. I wasn't sure if this is a thing that like, you're taking tomorrow, right? No. Um, it, I don't have any Storm Blades. I don't have any Sniping Spies. Yeah, there's an idea where Death from Above could come in. If you got any more cards you need to remove from game pile, draw two cards. Uh, the big thing that I think that people need to start doing, this is my personal opinion, I'm going to share this, is you're supposed to use Woman on every single attack. On their attacks, just remove your foundations. Yeah. Um, what this does is, if you cycle, you don't want to have all those, just the attacks removed. Right? If you've just removed attacks, you've only removed attacks. And so you need to, like, start removing foundations so that whenever you recycle again, you don't have that in your, in your deck. Or the, yeah, yeah, they're, they're not in your deck. Foundations. Correct. And so if there's an idea of, like, death from above can exist, um, Canyon Canyon not being in your Storm of Blades Void deck is crazy, my guy. Um... Piercing Barrage is pretty good. And Piercing Growl is surprisingly good. Um, discard a card that deals damage. Remove it. Add a copy of Piercing Growl from your discard pile to your hand. Um, this is a 6 mid yeah. for 7 in this character. Which is which is okay. Um, it's it's alright. Yeah, and it clears itself from the card pool, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know if it is... So I am not. I'm not a big fan of it... Uh, so I'm a more of a fan of it than like something like explosive speed, right? I get that this mm -hmm. is a three diff that like you make big, but like it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Um, Berserker bite I think should be the four of though. Am I under the wrong deck? I am under the wrong deck. Set current de le deck. I put death from above inside the Rodon deck. It'll be fine. It's fine. What I'm pretty I... sure we'll cut it because he's like that wasn't what we talked about. Attack void. Go. Threes. Yeah. Three damage. This one. This one. So I think Berserker Bite is actually supposed to be a four of. And we'll get there. Because it's just a seven damage breaker one, whatever. Yeah. Um, breaker one for the rest of the turn. Yeah. Break one for the rest of the turn, right. And it's for every card they play, not just. Yep. Not just the attacks. Okay. So when I come here, let's talk about the the cards, right? So I think yep. that this idea of a woman deck needs less resounding screeches. I think that you can get away with like just four of them. I know that's crazy, but like you don't need to do it on every single one of them because we're just playing free moves with Stormer Blades. We don't yeah. we never I'll want just... to play resounding screech, and we honestly like we want to mill it off of Stormer Blades and then another move that matters, sniping spy or something. Right? Yeah. Um, I also am down to put Sniping Spy up to the four of. Because I think that this one, two tactic is very, very strong. And we have this to get out of it. Right? And we have so many zeros. Like, so, so if many you zeros. you difficulty curve, you'll realize right? we don't need to do where we're going. Correct. Yeah, you just don't. Right? Like, like we could take... Like, Teaki Fanatic is leaving. This is not a card... 
Macho Concealment is a cyborg piece in case they have a thing. Uh, Will of Steel. Why do we care about this card? It's a cyborg card. I have to block a throw of this. It deals no damage. We have 34 health. Yeah. We don't care about that. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> Creeped out. Well, I've been uh, a slammed by the, the good lord of Boesis, as my friend calls it. So sure. I hear the big throw. That's fair. That's fair. Um, play more capes then. Um, and so what I want to yeah. do is I want to like Berserker Bite should be a four of. I think Explosive Speed is bad. This card's not good. It's a high block. That's why it was in there. Uh, block zone. We. I guess I would rather just four X rewind throttle if we're gonna do that. This card at yeah. least draws a bonus card, right? Commits a problem thing. It's very fast. This is a five. This is a six high four seven on a four diff that commits yeah. one of their cards. Yeah, this card's crazy in our deck. <laughs> Explosive speed gets to leave. Precision cloth. I'm not a precision cloth gamer. I want to get rid of this. Okay. This card's yeah. So my 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 think my thought process on this card was uh -huh. if I go storm into blades, happen to go into another storm of blades into a binding cloth. Yeah. It gets plus it gets plus three plus four. Yeah. Plus four at minimum. Yeah. Or we just play canyon cannon. Yeah. And it does the same thing. Right, That's and fair. we're and we're allowed to play this one first. Like I'm allowed to go Canyon yeah. Cannon first into then Storm of Blades, as opposed to praying that this is exactly the fifth card of my card pool. Like, it third, has to be the fifth. Third fifth. Well, third or fifth, Maybe. sure. Yeah, but this card just starts as a six high for seven, then yeah. then gets more based on like upwards of five damage, right? Yeah, you get five different symbols uh, depending on what we get. Yeah, five up to five. Yeah. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is a twelve damage move if we if we Yahtzee them. And it's also like the same mid block. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this guy. This one's gone. And this one's in. Even at the three of it, I think it's fine. Um we could cut resigning screen if you wanna if you wanna if you wanna make this a slim sixty deck, which I think is not a bad idea, truthfully. I don't think it is a bad idea. I the thing the reason why I wanted it a little bit bigger is because Storm of Blades has five, and mm -hmm. that is a, a lot of cards when you are X60. I don't disagree with you. We are also uh, putting seven dam or five damage on or four damage on yeah. all of our Storm of Blades, and so for every Storm of Blades that hits, like like most Storm of Blades decks, like they are, they are struggling for damage. Correct, and we are not. Oh, did I leave? Yeah. Reconnecting. Uh, we're still, still recording, here. so I'm going to keep running it. Did stream die, I assume? Stream die. Looks like we might be back. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think... Man, it's crazy. I want to just cut resounding screech altogether. I know that's a crazy thing that I'm saying. Tamron Cardwell saying cut, cut resounding screech in a woman deck. Uh, Twenty. I mean, because like 4x of all of these is like crazy. And we never want to play. We just never want to play this. Our goal yeah. is to do literally anything else but this. We could probably go to 22 by putting two death of death from above in. I'd be very nervous playing a six difficulty in the uh, one, one and check. two check. If we want the 22, I guess Resigning can go into the 2 of, right? But you just have to be, like, yeah. really, really careful, really specific about when you want this to, to pop off, right? Yeah. Like, like putting it putting it and saying this is a 7 mid for whatever um, mm -hmm. isn't isn't uh, isn't the right call. It should be just something else, right? Like, you should do that on your, on your, I guess all of these are crazy. You should do it on your Storm of Blades, right? The Storm of Blades or, get the Resigning uh, Screeches, right? Uh, but Zerker Bites a throw, so we don't even care about it, right? Yeah. It can get blocked, sure. I don't care. It's fair. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm in. This is a cool deck. It's Let's fun. go look at actions assets and see if there's anything on Void that matters. 
You want to get crazy with it? Um, it doesn't count towards aggressive. It does not. This will mill you out. This will mill you out very quick. <laughs> um, actually, if we're just going for broke, I don't hate the four combined firepower. If we're just trying to kill them, right? This thing mills for five. It's going to be some amount of combined firepowers. We will mill more stuff to like make things if like only Endeavor was on void. Yeah. Oh, if, if Endeavor had any of these three symbols, it'd be very good. I don't, I'm not even positive that it necessarily needs to be a four of, but it could just be a two of. Because again, yeah. like the power of this card is in its defensive capabilities, right? Of blocking with it. Just like yeah. blocking with a three mid block the, out of your discard pile for free is crazy. It's, with woman, it's technically a zero mid because you're negative threeing it. Correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. One hundred percent. Um. Okay, let's uh let's go back to void actions assets because we literally got stopped on the very first one. Um, I don't hate. Maximum Harding is normally how people have to find their damage, but we don't have to, because mm -hmm. it's awesome. Okay. Not much. Uh, I added all the good ones and was like, oh, we'll stop here. Yeah. Uh, saving Bakugo is not bad, but I don't know if we care about our foundations. Just a straw card. That's pretty cool. Actually, honestly, it could be Space Terror. Flip this attack gets one damage. Mm -hmm. Um, this is this is not doing the enhanced step, right? After it resolves, yeah. Uh, yeah. flip for plus one might be better than flip for minus one. Just because of like what we're trying to do. Yeah. Like if the goal is just to kill them, I'll put it in the sideboard and we'll look at our block zones whenever we get back. Malicious evil, I think, has to exist in your deck somewhere. At a, I, I like it like a two of, but because you're playing mm -hmm. such an intense combo deck, right? Like, yeah. If they play, um, Keiko's, uh, Keiko's aid. The worst thing that they can play is incredible display and have a momentum, right? Yeah. And this thing shuts it down for the entirety of Storm of Blades, right? Uh, oh, it's after this attack resolves, and this is enhanced step. Just kidding. I guess it doesn't. That's cringe. Yeah. Just kidding. Destroy Foundation gets a speed. That's good, but it's not what we want. Um, lose a health. This move gets a damage. This is not a bad idea. Turning all your seven damage move into eight damage move. I guess, I guess it's not great. Internet sensation is very funny. So the question on that is, uh, for the response, would I be able to do that with no check needed? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, it's a four check though, which is like a little, which is a little rough, but it's a little spooky. Yeah. Let's go see if there's any two diffs that we actually like. The answer is probably not. Yeah. It might actually just be this one. Ranged or weapon? No. Yes. 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 No. 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 So on the two big ones, mm -hmm. you get to just Which do is why this. personal reloads in there. Yeah. And um, it gives it a uh, personal reload gives it additional speed. Hmm. There isn't much. There isn't much, but that's okay. Are you a villain? You are a villain. This card's very good in your sideboard. Uh, look at slams. Uh, we don't even care about slams. We just care about I discard oh. one, you discard two, because we don't need our momentum at all. We yeah. Nothing that uses momentum. But we do have a couple slams. Uh, we have D slam. No, 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 no. Yes. Uh, Hacker probably just goes down to a one of. We're just trying to cut cards. 
Yeah. Mm. Like, it's almost like I would rather just play, like, pass through walls, just to, like, stop assets' abilities. Breakers. Yeah. yeah. So I think that the easiest way to cut this deck is just to clear barrier shield. I think we are a five-hander, and having yeah. the barrier shield is just going to be a little tough to play, and we're playing these out of the discard pile instead. 68 yeah. cards. we got to get rid of low blocks. So let's go look at some low blocks. Crazy, you have to get rid of lows, and there's none on our attacks. Incubating role model. I mean, we just get rid of role model, right? We're getting rid just... of role model. Throw in face terror. Well, the thing is, is like we're trying to cut this down to 60. So I actually just want to get rid yeah. of four more cards. Block zones again. Yeah, 1826. I mean, it's supposed to be cut some mids. So like we cut the creeped out. And then if we wanted to, we cut the combined firepower. But maybe 63 is just the right number. Right, at least to go test it with. First hand, yeah. bing, bang, boom. We're off the races. Review this. I've got the breaker uh, block hope, for later. Hope and pray I don't check a one on the personal reload. Yeah. Uh, whatever goes next. Mm -hmm. I mean, hey, it's, I mean, it's where you're at, right? Yeah. But, like, the first two are, are pretty safe. Just, like, don't check the one. And that's just what this deck is going to be. Second, right? Don't just check, don't check bad. Yeah. It might even be of, like, this is supposed to be a going second deck, right? Just because, like, you... you because of the ones and twos, you have to have the extra resource of woman, and you're a five hander. Yep. So like finding your zero discs, although not impossible, right? Like even from here, like when you this play, is safe. I think I play. I had sixteen of them in there to begin with. Yeah. Before we cut the low block. You had more. Twelve of them now. Right. Oh, it's twelve now. It's twelve now. Yeah. I mean, hell, we could just cut the hacker all together. Truthfully. Like we just don't need it. We don't need it. We yep. could cut Cape Return, right? Like cut. You ready? If you want to be like, if we are just absolutely balls to the walls, I mean, this is just a deck, yep. right? I'm just trying to kill you. I mean, where does that put us at? Card wise. Oh, this is exact sixty. Sixteen twenty eight sixteen. Perfect. Run it. This is a very funny deck. I think. I try to be funny with the name because it's score mechanic from <laughs> yeah. Magic. Yeah, it's funny. This is neat. I think you should try to give this one a shot too. As a funny like, huh. It was your idea that sparked this one. Could I play this tomorrow? The answer is yes, I could. But I don't know how my locals would feel if I, if me and Rabbi both showed up with a woman deck just trying to murder you. Actually, I don't have four sniping spies. I couldn't do it tomorrow. Rough. I also don't have... Rough. Actually, I do have two combined firepower. <laughs> you do, but they're not legal. <laughs> they're not legal till 21st? Yeah. But, boy, howdy, we got some. <laughs> Was it one per deck or is it two now? It's two. And did um, you pull the altar? So you have three. Ah, uh, no, I got. I pulled the. Uh, I pulled a tri beam, which is also like tri crazy, right? See the other ultra rare. And what's the, you pulled? What was the other altar you pulled? I saw the tri beam. Uh, I didn't show the second one. World's uh, history's greatest monster, the three diff foundation. Uh, uh, for from Godzilla. Godzilla. Deck. Yeah. Yeah. Because a really cool one of in a lot of decks. Not in this one. Anywho, <laughs> speaking of not this one, thank you much for the support on Patreon. I do greatly appreciate it. This is a cool deck. This is super fun. Um, I think this is a this is a really fun way to uh to have a lot of fun uh with this character. Neat way to play Storm of Blades. Cool one checks. One checks are God's gift to gamblers. <laughs> uh, final thoughts before I send it your way. Uh, I'm going to make my friends hate me. Perfect. And that's that's what I'm that's what I'm all about. Uh, all right, stay on the line long enough for me to choose the list, and you have a good rest of your night. Okay. You too. We'll see ya.